Hey guys, it's Carlene and you're watching Le Mom Life, the place where I share my new mom experience with you guys. Today I have a mommy and baby favorite slash empties video for you guys. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys some of the products that we've been loving as new parents for baby Elin. Um, some of the things that we have emptied out and ordered again and bought again. So if you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss my next upload. My first favorite is these diapers. Uh, these diapers are the seventh generation brand of diapers. And we have absolutely been loving seventh generation diapers. These are the free and clear, safe and effective diapers specially designed to care for the baby and the planet. Um, and in the past, these diapers have gotten a bad rap because they were um, too tough on the baby's skin, especially newborns but they have since improved the formulation and these are really, really soft. So in addition to that, they're super absorbent. I love that these are so absorbent. What drew us to this brand, what we were looking for was a diaper that was free of like perfumes and detergents and just harmful bleaching chemicals. And these are free of any bleaching chemicals and also free of any perfumes. That's why they call them free and clear. Um, in addition, they are soft and gentle, like I mentioned, and sustainably sourced. Um, and they're really soft and super absorbent. We've been using these since he was about two months old. At first we started out with Honest Company diapers and we love those, but the price was a bit much. And these are priced competitively with some of the other brands like Pampers and Huggies. At my local grocery store, I picked up this pack for $8.99 and I was doing the economy size with a lot of diapers in them like the box um, at Target but I find that just purchasing the single pack is a lot cheaper at my local grocery store so we've been loving these the price is right and the formulation is amazing so speaking about the diaper area my next favorite is this tropical life organic extra virgin coconut oil unrefined and expeller pressed this stuff is amazing bomb.com we love this stuff this is how much we love it it's completely empty we just bought a new one because we just absolutely love this stuff this coconut oil coconut oil in general has been the only thing that has prevented Elon from getting any diaper rash whatsoever. He hasn't gotten a diaper rash in a very long time. I can't remember the last time he got a diaper rash because we've been using this. Um, I think we ran out of aquifer because we were using aquifer before. We used this because that's what we had at the time and we liked it. So we kept using it and I realized that he just never got a diaper rash and um, he would get like tiny diaper rashes here and there, but he has not gotten a diaper rash ever since we've been using this. So. We love, love, love this. It's like I said, it's organic, it's extra virgin, it's expeller press. So this is the best of the best in terms of coconut oil that you can get. And we get this big tub, this big jar at Walmart for, I want to say between 10 to $11. And for the price, this is an amazing, amazing amount of product. So I love the value of the Tropical Life specifically. And um, coconut oil just has been an amazing solution for diaper rash for us so we cannot do without this is an empty and we just purchased another tub speaking of aquifer um we absolutely love aquifer so in terms of diaper rash we started out using butt paste boudreaux's butt paste and that worked out great and i still use the butt paste whenever he does have a diaper rash because i like to use it to dry out the rash so that it can heal quicker but we then moved to aquifer and aquifer was great for the diaper area as well but like i said we ran out one day and we ended up using the coconut oil for the diaper area but the reason why we still use aquifer is because it is amazing on dry skin and elon has really dry skin on like his face and he also has dry skin on his back um he has like patches of dry skin and so i need to talk to his pediatrician about it at his next visit because now that it's winter he's been super dry this stuff is amazing we absolutely love it what i usually do with it is i'll damp his skin with like a washcloth or maybe after bath time i'll apply this on top of damp skin to seal in the moisture and this just helps all the dead skin just peel away and just reveal his smooth soft new rejuvenated baby skin so we love this and currently walgreens is having a buy one get one 50 percent off 
this is a good time to get it. They do sell these in like jars, but I went ahead and got the tubes because I find that the tubes are more sanitary because you just squeeze it out. You don't have to worry about getting your fingers and the gunk and bacteria under your nails into the tub. And that's kind of the issue that we have. The only issue we have with the coconut oil um, is we try to be as sanitary as possible because when something is in a big tub like that and you dip, dip your finger in, um, even when you wash, sometimes you don't get everything. And so what we do is we use a scooper. We wash the scooper, take some coconut oil out, and that's how we use it. But I wish they made coconut oil in these tubes, but they don't. But this, this stuff, you got to get this. Since we're still talking about like the bath, uh, the bathroom, I wanted to talk about this Shea Moisture Baby Wash. We have been using this since he was a newborn. It's so gentle on the skin and it's very moisturizing but at the same time it cleans it really cleans your baby the ingredient list is very natural there are no harmful parabens or preservatives in it and um, it's very small as well in addition to just this just works really well it washes him really clean we can use it as both a body wash and shampoo we've purchased this over and over again i love trying out the different scents that shea moisture has and um, this one is actually almost empty as well so it's about time for another one my next favorite is this arm and hammer simply saline nasal mist for babies zero and up we found out about this when we took him home when he was a newborn and he had congestion um, we needed a nasal spray and i was researching to find the purest type of nasal spray because i didn't want to put all those chemicals into his body being that small he stumbled across this through some research i did online and we love it the ingredient list on this is very small as well and let me see if I can find it. This only has water, sodium chloride, and sodium bicarbonate, so baking soda. The thing that sets this nasal spray apart, aside from the ingredient list, um, apart from all the other nasal sprays on the market, is the fact that this thin nozzle sprays a nice and gentle mist, a nice soft gentle mist up the baby's nostril instead of like a squirt like most saline solutions tend to do. So this does not startle the baby. Now, Elon does not like anything up his nose at all, but because of this thin nozzle, it's been a lot easier to spray this when he needs it. Um, so he recently had a cold and he was congested, so this was a lifesaver. We love this. Um, when we spray this, what tends to happen is he'll sneeze and then like all of that mucus just comes out and like descends. And what we do is we go in with our Nose Frida, which is another favorite. I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it. But we go in with our Nose Frida. It's a nasal aspirator, and we kind of suck all the nasty stuff out. Don't worry. It doesn't go in your mouth. It goes into a separate area. Um, <laughs> afterwards, he just is clear. He's calmer. And this, we just love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, we cannot do without when he's congested. My next favorite, I purchased when Elon was a newborn and we still have some. So the value is just amazing on this, but it's the Child Life Vitamin D3 Drops. My pediatrician advised me that if I'm gonna be breastfeeding to invest in a vitamin D supplement because breast milk tends to be very low in vitamin D and it's essential to them for growth and their bones and all that stuff. So um, I researched and found this one on Amazon and this is the Child Life brand. And this one has only three ingredients, organic virgin olive oil, natural mixed berry flavor, and the vitamin D3 that the baby needs. What I also love about this is it's so convenient. You put one drop on your breast and the baby breastfeeds and gets the vitamin D and that's it for the day. It's not like a syringe. You don't have to pull up a bunch of liquid and insert it into the baby's mouth. This is just one drop, so it's super convenient as well. And I think it's fairly inexpensive too. I think it might've been under $10 on Amazon. So I'll include all the links to the things I talk about in this video in the description box for you guys. My next favorite are the Highlands Baby Teething Tablets. And the Highlands brand is a homeopathic brand, which means that they try to take compounds that are found naturally, um, either just natural or found in your body, and they put them together and they create like a formula that is supposed to help your body do what it does best. Now that Elon is eight months old, he'll be eight months tomorrow, crazy. I feel like I just took him home from the hospital. He will be eight months old tomorrow and he has been teething and he pretty much like got a whole bunch of teeth all at once. He has four teeth on the bottom, one tooth on top, 
and I see two more that are just getting ready to pop through those gums. So he's been in a lot of pain recently. We did do um, teethers for a while. We did, um, and we still do teethers, um, but we did uh, cold teethers, frozen teethers. I've done, I still do frozen fruit and vegetables for him. But the two things that seem to have worked really, really well all the time are one, these teething tablets and an amber teething necklace, and that works well. But when the amber teething necklace is just not doing it, he's just in too much pain, these are a lifesaver. We give him two or three of them, and they're these little dissolvable tablets that you just pop in the, on the baby's tongue or under their tongue, and it just dissolves in their mouth super quick. And within minutes, the baby is relieved. So I love, love, love these. So I have two other favorites that are um, either in another part of the house or too big to show, but I'll be doing separate reviews on these two things. The first one is my baby food processor. I purchased this processor at Target for $40 and it works like a top of the line processor. It purees and it chops and I'm just, I'm gonna do a separate review about it but I just to let you guys know, this is amazing and amazing and very affordable food processor. Now that Elin is um, doing purees, it's just been a lifesaver having this. Um, so that's the first thing and my last favorite is the Evenflow Exer Saucer. Um, Elon has been very, very active and he started to get really, really active around like the four month mark. And so we had been thinking about getting him one and we finally decided to just go ahead and do it um, in December. And it's been the best decision ever. Um, so in December, he was about ready for it. And as soon as we brought it home, it took him a few days to kind of figure out what he was supposed to do with it. But once he figured it out, I mean, he loves it. And it just gives, it's so convenient because I can put him in there. He can be occupied with all the different toys and teethers on there. And I can get some things done around the house. So we love it. And I will be doing a separate review on the Exorcaucer and the food processor. So those are two separate videos coming very soon. So if you're interested, stay tuned for those videos. Those are my favorites, the things we've been loving, the things we've had to get more of, purchase more, order more of. Share with me what some of you guys' favorite things are for babies that are newborns on up to a year old. I think that this is a great place to just kind of share what we do with each other. I would love to hear what you guys use because I'm always looking for solutions to make just being a new mom easier. If you have not subscribed, Subscribed, please go ahead hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video I also have another channel here on YouTube called um, Curleen it's just Curleen and that's my style beauty and motivation channel so if you're into those things don't forget to check the description box or this video somewhere at the top and I will see you guys in another video here very very soon